Check it out, you guys. I got Odin to go outside by himself this morning. I can't even believe it. No, he's barking at the neighbor's dog. I better go grab him. Oh, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! What are you doing? Odin, are you all jacked up? Are you all jacked up? Whoa! Holy moly, buddy. <laughs> So as I was saying, this is a pretty typical Monday morning for me. It's actually, uh, it's yeah, pretty typical. With the exception of the dishes, the dishes are usually done, but I didn't do anything up here yesterday because I was working in the laundry room. And I would say that's about 75% done. So that's exciting. Um, it is, let's see, it is, 9 14 in the morning and i have not showered or anything yet this morning um i had an ie whoop, i had an iep meeting for my son this morning and we just got done with that um so I, even though i got up at six i had my wake ups and went straight into getting josie ready to go and um then right from Josie getting ready to go, we had IEP meeting and we just got done. So I'm gonna go take my shower now and then we're gonna get this stuff situated. <laughs> so I've gotten the kitchen all cleaned up, but I think I'm gonna hit pause because it is absolutely gorgeous out right now. It's 60 degrees and sunny, we have had rain for like a week straight i swear if that's what it feels like anyway and it's been cold and dreary and dark and gross so i think i'm gonna go ahead to walmart um i want to pick up a couple of floral picks for the laundry room and then i also want to um i need poly envelopes so you know how when you start one project another one just automatically appears well that's i've got another project guys i lost a, my pantry space in the laundry room, which I was planning on doing anyway, because I want to get all of my food up in these cabinets right here in my kitchen. Um, I want to take that cabinet down. I kind of want to take that cabinet down as well, but I want to get all my food up in these cabinets right here. And um, so I needed to find a spot for these things because right now, currently this cabinet is a hot mess. Well, actually, so is that one. <laughs> so, um, we are going to tackle these later today, I think. But first, I have to fold laundry and then get my living room back in order. It is actually 1230 already because I realized that I had some phone calls that I needed to make this morning and then Michael's classes were going and he was up here in his classes so um, for his privacy his teachers privacy and that kind of thing I waited for his classes to get over um, and so I just cleaned the kitchen on my own um, but I need a break I want to get out of the house it is gorgeous outside so I think I'm gonna go to Walmart so this is all I picked up I grabbed um, one just one of these baby's breath it looks like you can just kind of pull it apart and it was 2.48. The photo mailer. I grabbed a chalk paint in the color celery. I don't have this color. I have some moss, I believe, is named the color that I actually used to paint my downstairs end tables that I um, sent along with Alexandra. And I think I have some white. I'm hoping I have white. And then just stocking up on some chip brushes because I am completely out. I had an Amazon order. Amazon's getting really fast, you guys. I ordered this stuff last night, and it's here. I ordered a pair of 16-ounce amber glass bottles to keep my DIY uh, stain remover spray in. Um, my last one broke, so I ordered these. These are like these are good size, nice and large. So that's nice. And it was seven dollars, I believe, for a two-pack. So that was a good buy. In case you're interested, this is the recipe I use. I've been using it for years and I got it off Pinterest. It might have been from like One Good Thing by Jilly B or something like that, but that's the recipe I use. And then 
Also, this is the recipe for my DIY laundry soap. Um, I haven't made this in a couple of years. I've just been using the Gain Original Scent Pods. I really like those. I love the way Original Scent Gain smells. So, yeah, just in case you're interested. Every fall since I was a little girl, I've always had grandma's spiced tea. Um, and I think it's known around other parts of the country as Russian tea, but this year I'm not going to be making it because it's basically nothing but sugar. So I decided I wanted to try to make a diffuser blend for it so I could at least smell it. And you guys, I nailed it out of the park. So in the recipe, it's just 40 drops of orange. It doesn't have to be blood orange. It could be sweet orange, any orange that you have, I guess. 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops of cinnamon, and 20 drops of clove. And you guys, it smells just like my grandma's spiced tea or Russian tea, if that's what you are used to calling it. It is so good. Michael's on his lunch break from school. <laughs> Knocked over the... The thingy, there's a bucket out there. What a mess. <laughs> but Odin sure is loving it. He's been putting his ear up more and more. So I'm trying really hard to spend as little as possible on this makeover. So I'm going to be using a lot of stuff that I already had. Some of it's already in my laundry room, um, but some of it was from around the house as well. And you guys will recognize this shutter that I'm getting ready to paint. Um, it is currently blue. I used to have it in front of my TV, or on, I used to have one on either side of my TV, but I'm gonna paint this one green to go down into my laundry room. Otis, what do you think you're doing? Excuse me, sir. Hey, get off the table. What are you doing? You, I think he's lost his mind. <laughs> Otis, no. Are you safe from the big bully dog? <laughs> they actually get along really well, but Odin is a puppy, so he tries to play. And, you know, <laughs> Otis is just having none of it. Buddy, you can't stay up here. You gotta get down. You gotta get down. <laughs> Okay, so two things. One, I forgot how good this stuff covers. I, this is like just one coat and it's really good. I'll definitely give it another coat, but that was really good coverage. Two, I forgot that I had already tinted my moss paint to a lighter green. See the difference there? <laughs> um, it's basically set the celery color, so I can take the celery paint back. So I am excited about that because this, 
I really like this color. Yay! Wow, there's always raw eggs in it. <laughs>